Today in the Smart Wood Shop, I'm going to show you how to make your own T-Track in the shop that will not only save you the cost of purchasing T-Track, but that I find it's actually better and much more flexible. I'm Ron Polk, and this is the Smart Wood Shop. If you want to get a detailed set of plans to build a Smart Wood Shop for yourself or one of my Smart Workbenches, there's a link in the description of this video down below with all of the potential that shop made T-Track offers and the money that it can save you. I thought it would be worthwhile to take just a couple of minutes and show you exactly how I make mine and the measurements and details of it just so that you don't have to go through the trial and error the way I did. The material I use for all of my T-Track is an 18 millimeter AC type plywood. The specific brand that I use is this Canusa Primcore Plus. The first cut you're going to make is with a 5 16 or 8 millimeter cutter. I use a upcut spiral bit. It's mounted upside down so it's actually cut, you know, pulling the material down. The second cutter I use is a T cutter. This one is from Whiteside. After you chuck in your 5 16 or 8 millimeter cutter, the next thing is to set up the fence. So I'm going to set the fence up to 50 millimeters from the fence to the center of the cutter. And again, this is a variable dimension depending on what your project requires. If I were cutting it for this router fence the way I made it before, that is 25 millimeters, so it will vary. And now I'm going to set the depth of my cutter. This depth that I choose is 10 millimeters, which is less than half an inch. It's close to, so slightly more than 3 eighths. That is because where I, the more important cut will be the, the um, T-slot cutter, and I find that the top edge of that is pretty close to 10 millimeters. That's the first cut, clean, simple, and easy. Now I'm going to change cutters. The Milwaukee routers that I use in my router tables are big and heavy, and they have a half-inch collet. They don't have, they don't come with a separate uh, quarter inch call it. So what I do when I need to run quarter inch bits like this uh, T-slot cutter, I have these bushings that will step down from a half an inch to whatever size shaft I have. So this one goes from half to a quarter and I'll make sure I provide a link to this as well. From the surface of the router table to the closest edge or the bottom edge of the cutter is five millimeters. That's somewhere around 3 16 of an inch. That leaves me five millimeters of wood, and this is the wood that the flange bolt that goes in there pulls against. So I've tried it thinner and thicker. I like the meat it leaves that this setup leaves on the back side, and I also like the meat that it leaves on the top. It makes it really strong. And so far, I haven't had any of these break out, even when I really crank down. And that means the top of this particular cutter is right around 10 millimeters. And so that will match the depth of the uh, slot that I have already cut. Set up the fence. I want the center of the T-Track cutter to be exactly the same as the center of the dado cut we just made. That's it, the T-Track's complete and ready to use. I've just randomly grabbed a block and I set up these, most of my blocks, I set them up a little bit of spline in them and the, that keeps them from twisting in the T-Track. In the Has nothing to do with the T-Track, it's just the way I make my blocks and stops. And then the flange bolt fits right in there and because of the size of it, the flange bolt won't spin, it'll lock onto the edges and that helps it tighten right up. And tools like these Jessam infeed rollers that I use on my router fence and on my table saw fence, again, they have their own flange bolts. They drop right into the T-Track. With a small investment in a couple of router bits, you can save a lot of money over time and again, more important for me than saving the money is that I can create anything I need. I don't have to worry about getting the T-Track and getting a certain size. Whatever my particular shop 
need is, I can create it on the fly. If you enjoy these woodworking tips, then be sure to give me a thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. It helps them find videos that are liked and, and that people interact with, and it'll push them up in their algorithm and more people will see them, which helps grow the Smart Woodshop family. Also, if you wanna know when I put up a new video, if you wanna join the Smart Woodshop family, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell. Thanks for dropping into the Smart Woodshop. You stay safe and have a great day.